a quick tutorial today on creating a animated toggle button switches from dark mode to light mode fun stuff let's get started see how fast we can do this so first thing I'm gonna do is create my frame I'm gonna make it 55 by 30 I'm gonna set my border radius to triple nine and I'm going to just start off and just give it a background color of daytime sounds good all right now I'm going to create my actual switch the the Sun uh, that actually looks good I'm gonna pick my yellow color okay excellent and now I'm going to add my clouds I've created some already just out of circles and then I did a union shape, so I'm just going to make a couple of these. Shift H to flip it, shrink it, and there we go. Now we have our daytime toggle. Um, so that's done. What we got to do now is do the nighttime version. So we're going to take this circle. I'm going to hit Command D. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to give it the same color as the sky. Um, because this is going to mask our moon shape when we go tonight. So I'm just going to arrow it over and just get it right out of the way here. Just while I'm working, I'm going to take clip content off and then I'm going to need my stars. So I've made a bunch of stars out of the star shape. So I'm going to bring those down, uh, make sure they're in this frame. And again, I'm going to arrow them right out of the way over here. Okay. So that's good. I'm going to sh call this tutorial toggle switch. Spelt wrong, but that's all right. And then I am going to tutorial toggle switch slash day. I'm going to duplicate this, bring it down here, change it to night. All right, so now we're going to change our background. So we'll go into our selection colors. We're going to pick our nighttime background. I'm going to make it just a little bluer, maybe even purple. That's cute. There we go. I'm going to change my moon color to kind of like a blue, whitish blue. That's great. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mask. I'm going to move that over and give it the crescent shape. I'm going to take my clouds and I'm going to shift arrow them over. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this one and move it a bit more just so they move at a different speed. I'm going to take my mask and my moon and I'm going to bring that over to this side. And then I'm going to bring my stars in to here. Now, if you want to make it even crazier, I can actually go in up here. And I'm going to move these stars in so that you get a bit of a parallax sort of effect because now they'll all move. All right. And then I'm going to select both of these, clip content. I'm going to go up here to my components. I'm going to say create component set. Done. I'm going to prototype this one to there. On tap, change to property night. Uh, smart animate and I'm gonna go ease in out and back and we'll give it 600 seconds and then we'll return the favor on this one done easy peasy you can see how it animates we'll drag it in to our artboard give it a quick preview I hope this works otherwise I'll look like a fool look at that how neat is that? Now, how do we toggle it? Little bonus part: if you have your, um, if you have your variables set up, um, if you're looking for the variable for the text mode in the UI, it is now up here. It's, it's crazy. It's up here. You can link it up here. Um, if you have your variables already set up, so I have foreground, background color, and a text variable and then I have a light and a dark mode so I've got those updated for each you can actually on this action you can add one more 
that says set variable mode. You're going to set it to dark. That's perfect. And then on this one, we're going to add that set variable mode and we're going to switch it to light. And now when we run this, we toggle the dark mode, toggle the light mode. There it is. Like, subscribe. See you next time.